You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description. For our checkpoint system, we will need a script that can hold the current checkpoint location, despite calling functions like reload current scene. This can be done by using a global or auto load script, which is a script that activates as soon as you begin your game and will constantly run in the background. First, inside the scripts tab, go to file, new script, name it global script and hit create. Alternatively, if you already have a global script, then you can use that instead. To establish the script as a global or auto load, go to project, project settings. Under the globals tab, select the folder icon, then select the script and press open. Then finally, press add. Keep in mind the name on the left as that is what we will use to refer to the script from other scripts within your game. We only need to establish two variables. Checkpoint pause is the position that we want the player to respawn at. We set this to a vector 2 of negative 999 by negative 999 as that is a position that will never have a checkpoint and therefore will allow us to know whether the player should spawn at the checkpoint position or not based on whether or not this variable is equal to negative 999 by negative 999. Previous checkpoint node will hold the node that the player last reached. We require this to set the visuals for the previous checkpoint whenever we reach a new one. For the checkpoint C, create a new scene with a sprite 2d node as the core right click rename rename it to checkpoint then go to scene scene save as and save it set the texture to the checkpoint image that you can download for free link in the description set the h frames to 2 then set the texture filter to nearest as we are using pixel art add an area 2d node to the scene add a collision shape node 2d as a child of the area 2d set the shape to a rectangle 2d select it set the size to 6 by 8 this area 2d and collision shape will be used to detect the player and enable this checkpoint add a marker 2d node to the scene this is a node that will only hold a position value and we will use this to know where exactly we want the player to spawn. For my game, I will set the transform position to 1 on the Y axis, add a script to the checkpoint node, then select the area 2D node, go to node, under signals, right click the body entered signal, press connect, and connect it to the script. Inside the script, we will create a custom function called update sprite, which we will call to update the sprite's visuals based on if this checkpoint is active or not. First, we check if the global position of the marker 2D node is equal to the global script's checkpoint position. If so, then it means this checkpoint is active, and with the art that you can download for free, link in the description, I just need to set the frame to 1. Else, if the checkpoint is not active, then I can set the frame to zero. We then make sure to call this function inside the ready function so that when the level restarts, the visual for each checkpoint is set properly. Inside the body enter signal function, we will first grab the built-in body variable. In my game, I use a special group that I set in my player nodes ready function so that I can distinguish between the player and other bodies. If it is the player, then I set the global script's checkpoint position to the marker's global position. I then check if there is a previous checkpoint node. If so, then I update that node sprite. Then I set the previous checkpoint node to this checkpoint and then call the update sprite function on this node as well. Now to have the player spawn at the checkpoint position inside your player script inside the built-in ready function we will first check if the checkpoint pause is not equal to the default value meaning that the player has reached a checkpoint within the current level at some point then we set the player's global position to the global script's checkpoint position additionally as mentioned earlier when you are loading a new level in your game make sure to set the checkpoint pause to the default value and the previous checkpoint node to null as this will make sure that the player spawns where they are first placed within the scene until they reach a checkpoint node now you have a simple checkpoint system that you can add to any of your 2d go.games and don't forget you can check out the project files link in the description